in today's video, I'll be editing your photos. What's up everybody, how you doing? My name is Dizan Bajarko and welcome to this video. Well, you already know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna be editing your photos. So a week ago, I uh, asked you guys on Instagram to send me some photos on this uh, uh, email, uh, submit to zarko at gmail.com. The photos needed to be high quality and if you have like any idea of what should I make of that photo, you were free to tell me. So basically that was not going well. I have not had enough submissions, so I had to manage myself. So I went to this uh, Reddit called Edit My Raw, which basically people put their raw images they took and you, you're basically free to do anything you want with it. So I find a few pictures that were high quality and that had some potential. These are the pictures that I chose. The first one is, is from MJ Vak, which I don't know his full name. That's just his, I guess, display name. Let's get into it. Okay, so first I started cropping this bridge because I wanted to have that like uh, medieval creepy uh, vibe. So I just copy paste this bridge to make it go all the way to the tower. So I use pen tool to crop the tower so I can like move it around and adjust it. So basically I cropped this hole uh, into the tower to make like an entrance. I added this like uh, canyon which the tower and the bridge is going to rest. Turn everything blue and I, I'm adding this um, Spartan warrior right here. Adding a light uh, reflection on the bridge. Then I'm gonna use this mountain. I'm just gonna copy paste it to have like a, a depth of field, to have like a layers of the mountain. But I, I added another one and I decided to change it a little bit to have like even better depth of field. And just keep like changing the perspective of the mountains in the background because I changed it like three or four times because I didn't like it. So basically, um, just playing around. I added like the creep vines on the tower to make it look old and I deleted a little bit of uh, parts of the tower to make it look like old and rusty. And I hand cut this roof right here to make it like see-through and make it seem like the tower is actually falling apart. Added this really nice skeleton to battle the Spartan warrior. Let's equip me with a nice Skyrim sword. And that's about it. I use camera filter to finish all the necessary uh, adjustments and uh, I guess to make it look more realistic. And I think it turned out great. Thanks for sharing your raw images with everyone. And I hope you like it. The next image is this man standing on this, um, how do I call that? On top of this sign and basically Oh, well, let me just... <coughs> Alright, right, right. The picture is by Alexander Kanas. Thank you for this awesome picture, I really love it. Like, as soon as I saw it, I had an idea. So, the idea is actually to make a sci-fi landscape. Like, first, I, I just skipped the process of cropping it because it was so long and so freaking boring and took me like, like an hour. Also skip the process of like finding the right pictures with right angles because I wanted to have like a set of set of buildings one behind each other to make it like better depth of field and it was really really hard to find the appropriate buildings like I searched it for like four hours Jesus Christ basically I just um, make these front buildings a little bit like darker and bluish and uh, I started adding like a blue fog right below all the buildings to make it more uh, contrast between the buildings and to make better that with field. And then starts again the a little bit boring process is just adding these holograms and billboards and posters and stuff like that and it just so time consuming but hey I don't know where, where I was going with that. But anyway, the cyberpunk poster, the Coca-Cola, this and this and this, and I'm, I'm just gonna go and uh, skip through everything, okay? Added a little bit of uh, light, light rays on the top of the buildings. I thought they looked cool, so why not? 
again with the holograms and posters and stuff again more billboards i wanted to add uh, like uh, windows to the buildings in the front so uh, i just started painting but they would be like uh, different colors again adding some fog in the distance to have better depth of field again then i started adding these highlights on this guy right here and on the i guess the billboard he's standing on and this took a lot of time because i was like experimenting a little bit with the highlights but in the end i managed to get the result i wanted and that's it this is before and after looks amazing at least to me i'm really satisfied with the creation i made and i think also i learned a lot and uh, thank you alexander for giving us the opportunity to express ourselves through your pictures and let's go to the next one okay so this picture is by nick van de berg i think that's how you pronounce it but basically actually i wanted to recreate the image i did from the last year to see actually how much i progressed let's get started okay so i already cropped out the landscape the sh the this circle shape thing and i just started uh, cropping these hill parts and putting one behind each other to make like better depth of field adding a nice sky then this will fit perfectly a nice moon right here again adding the another hill so i literally took the dirt uh, texture put like in front of it and just painted the dirt across the across the that circle thing because i wanted to make like a little bit more realistic i found this werewolf so last time i used like a regular wolf and this time it was like a little bit hard to find like a realistic werewolf but this is what i have and this is what i'm going with added this pumpkins but uh, it didn't fit here in this picture found this really cool creepy house which I thought it would fit perfectly of course setting the fence in the background you have to have fence in the Halloween edit of course adding a lot of creepy trees and another one creepy tree oh I use puppet warp to like move the foot of this wolf because I didn't like the position he's standing to make it like a little bit more realistic and actually it turned out great so I found this awesome looking tombstones that's a weird thing to say and I mean awesome looking they're like already cut out and uh, have like really nice perspective so they were perfect for me to use them I started adding like all of them and another one and another one another one then i added these two pumpkins and the first one probably gonna make it glow added those pumpkins right behind that upper uh, tombstone because the others like are in front and i wanted this one to be actually behind to make it like better depth of field and another pumpkin added this tree in the background so I used this hue and saturation to colorize everything like into blue. And then I was adding highlights to the, I guess, first this pumpkin, then uh, to the everything. And it is shadow to the werewolf, of course. I started cropping every single window in this house to make it glow. Just like that, perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna skip right through this. right gradient nice and to make it glow perfect then i started adding fog between the landscapes again to make better depth of field how, how many times i'm gonna say depth of field jesus the last thing i did is making this pumpkin glow after all the effects and camera filters and everything this is the final result I'm really satisfied with the final result and thank you Nick van de Berg for giving us this picture and for letting us use it as we want to. 
so these are uh, final results and let me guys know what you think I think I did a pretty good job but of course there's a lot of people who can do better well thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video and want me to do uh, more parts of this editing your photo series I will and uh, then subscribe you know it will it costs nothing yeah again let me know what you think guys see you Thank you.